Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to a new video of Top Drive's Top 10. Uh, now, as you know, the Halloween update, uh, not the Halloween update, but the Halloween event is out. And uh, when I'm posting this video, Halloween would actually be over. Uh, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed your Halloween, you know, got some good candy, good costumes, good parties. Um, but yeah, as we know, or if you don't know, the Halloween MASH event uh, requires SUVs, uh, non-legendary SUVs, and I felt that it would be fitting for me to rate my top 10 SUVs in top drives. Um, all of the SUVs in this list would be applicable for the event, uh, aside from number one. Uh, so the top nine, if you have any, use them in your Halloween mashup uh, decks. So in number 10, we have the Jaguar F-Pace. Um, this is a decent... Uh, SUV. If you can get any of these SUVs maxed out, um, they'll definitely help your garage and help you in the event. Uh, the reason why this deserves 10th place is because the grip is decent uh, when it's fully maxed out, goes about to 86, 85, uh, and the 0 to 60 is okay. It's a, uh, you know, it's a good car, it's quite light for an SUV, and uh, overall it's not, not bad. Uh, definitely better than a lot of the uh, B-Class SUVs in the game. Now in ninth, uh, we have the Audi RS Q3. Uh, the only reason that this car isn't higher than most SUVs in the game is because it has performance tires instead of all surface. Uh, it has really good power, uh, very nice 0-60, to and the handling is really good for an SUV as well. Uh, but once again, the only reason it's not higher on the list is because it has performance tires. So it's not going to work super well in the Halloween event, um, but it would still wreck a lot of SUVs uh, that you might come across. Now in 8th place, we have the Infiniti uh, QX70. Um, this is just an amazing car. Uh, last episode, we talked about uh, the nicest images, I thought. Uh, in my opinion, and I feel like this could be an honorable mention. It's just a nice looking car, it's striking, and I like the background, but that's not what we're here for today. Today we're rating SUVs, and once again, this car is a great one. Um, the strongest thing about this car would be the handling. Uh, as you can see, it has better grip than uh, uh, the uh, the Jaguar F-Pace that we saw prior. Uh, the weaker spots would be the 0-60, to however, um, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, this car is very good because it used to be a B, uh, B class as well. So you might see some fully upgraded cars out there, uh, fully upgraded QX70s out there, uh, and they are pretty dangerous to come against. So it deserves number eight on this list. Now in number seven with the Cadillac XT5, the reason why I feel that this car should be rated higher than the three before, even though the three before were epics, is because this car is a lot easier to fully upgrade and I feel like in terms of B-Class SUVs this is one of the best ones because it goes down to 5.40 to 60 and 85 handling um, so the reason why this is so high up the list is because I'm judging it from a fully maxed out point uh, I feel like this is one of the strongest uh, B-Class SUVs in the game. Uh, an honorable mention would be the GMC Yukon, but the handling on that is pretty, pretty bad. Um, th therefore, this car deserves to be on the list. And a uh, quick tip, uh, a couple months ago when this car used to be a B, I used to think that the QX70 and the XT5 were the two best B-Class SUVs in the game. So the fact that this car got upgraded to an A is really saying a lot. Now in 6th place is the Mercedes AMG ML63. Now the only reason that this car is really good is the 0-60 to 60 is bloody insane. It's a fast SUV and the power is insane. Um, basically any Mercedes that has a top speed of 155, uh, you would expect uh, some really good power coming out of it. Um, this is not the only Mercedes SUV on the list, uh, but yeah, these cars are known for just being super fast. Uh, the grip on this car is completely terrible, um, but in the Halloween mashup events, there are test bowls and uh, there are drag races. So this car deserves, you know, a pretty, pretty high spot because it's really fast. And next up on the list, I'm kind of lost on where we are. I think we're on five or four, maybe. 
um, but the BMW X5, um, this is a really nice all-around SUV. It's fast, not as fast as, uh, oh, no, yeah, not as fast as the Mercedes, uh, but it's still fast. Uh, also 155 top speed, so good power, and uh, it will have really good handling when it's maxed out. So um, this is just an all-round uh, really good car to have, and uh, that's why I feel like it deserves a higher spot on this list than the Mercedes. Now, coming up is the Range Rover Sport. Now, this is not a car that you would see very often in the event, as it is a uh, prize car only. Uh, as you can see, it has very similar stats to the BMW, uh, but it is a lot faster. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot faster, but it is faster, definitely. Um, beautiful car in real life, and it has really, really nice stats. Um, if you do have this car, congratulations. I really wanted this, but uh, yeah. I did not get it because my Range Rover hand is not very strong. Now I do believe this is third place here, but the Mercedes AMG GLE 63. Uh, once again, it's Mercedes and it's really fast. It's uh, 0.5 seconds faster than the other Mercedes SUV that we reviewed today. And it has one handling point uh, above the other Mercedes. Uh, this is just an insanely quick car. I've seen this fully upgraded and it's scary. Um, the only reason I haven't invested in my other Mercedes, which I actually own, is because I don't own this one. Um, I really love this car and I do hope I get it in a pack one day. Uh, beautiful, beautiful car. Um, and yeah, definitely a car to keep if you have one. Now we, uh, we are into second place is the Audi SQ5. Now this is kind of breaking the rules a little bit in the Halloween event because no legendaries. However, we all know a legendary is above RQ27 and this is an RQ29. And I know there's some controversy around that, um, but overall this is just a, an amazing car. As you see the stats, 4.80 to 60. Uh, that is uh, not faster than the Mercedes, but the handling is insane, 81 handling, four-wheel drive, all surface. Uh, if you do have this Audi, it is definitely the strongest uh, SUV in the Halloween event. So uh, good on you if you have it. Uh, and finally, in first place, uh, this is not applicable for, um, the, uh, for the Halloween event. So I kind of just put this all in first place. First place is basically every single Porsche SUV. Uh, now, we all know every single Porsche SUV is a legendary class, and uh, we know why. Uh, they're really fast, and they have good grip. So it's kind of like a balance of the XQ, or the QX70 Infiniti, and um, it's a mixture of that car and the Mercedes GLE, because, you know, it has good grip, good 0-60. to So combine that together, and you have the Porsche SUVs. Uh, these cars are insane, uh, and of course, if you have any of them, it's a no-brainer to keep However, they are not useful in this event. Um, and I think Hutch knows because uh, that would just break uh, the leaderboards. So those are my top uh, 10 SUVs in top drives. Let me know if you have um, different opinions in the comments down below. And uh, I do hope to hear from you soon. So let's just go through the top 10 real quick. So in number four one, we have the Porsche. Number two is the SQ5. Uh, number three is the 63S, number four is the Range Rover Sport, five is the X5, uh, six is the AMG ML63, uh, seven is the Cadillac XT5, six, no, not six, F8 is the QX70, ninth is the RSQ3, and finally in 10th place we have the F-Pace. So those are my top 10 SUVs in the game, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you.